It's interesting because over the last 20 years, I've seen a shift in the way people react to speak. Uh, when the book first came out, um, everyone was very kind of, oh gosh, can we talk about this? I can't believe you've written this book. Um, schools were beginning to think about letting their high school seniors in the spring read the book because you know the administrators would tell me, well, our kids are going to college. We know we need to have them prepared. And I think there's been a, um, a much needed and overdue um, reality check. Um, and so we're having, we're beginning to have the conversations with our kids about sexual violence and that needs to start younger. So the, the book is now accepted for younger readers. Um, and I think it's helping families talk amongst themselves and, um, be, you know, it's awkward sometimes to talk about sex. So, th so the reception has gotten um, calmer and more accepted, I think. So they've taught me that we need to step up as parents and listen. Um, we need to be really clear with our kid what the rules are, kind of the rules of human decency, as well as you know, model for them what it looks like, A, to be um, uh, a human being who can talk about hard things. Also, we need to be modeling for our kids what it looks like to be a survivor. I think one of the most generous things that adults could do for kids is, especially if an adult has been a victim of sexual violence, to say, yep, that happened to me. It doesn't define who I am. It was hard, and this is how I worked through it. And this is how I'm going to help prepare you so you don't have to deal with that. You know, it's interesting, when we did the graphic novel adaptation about Speak, I had sort of the opportunity to reopen the story. Um, and I did meld two scenes together from the craft perspective that were two separate scenes in the text-based book. Um, but I wanted to remain true to the experience of the story. I don't think it would change that much with the exception of social media. Wow! Oh my gosh. Um, we need to do better by our kids in terms of making them all feel stronger because what I see kids, uh, when I see kids attacking each other anonymously on social media, what I see is obviously the person on the receiving end is being victimized, but I also know the kid who's throwing the trash out there is reflecting their own insecurities and pain. Um, so if I was going to rewrite Speak Today, I think that would be a much larger portion of the story.